for eight years I didn't wear jeans because they pressed on my stomach I have a small difference between the waist and hips and the tough denim destroyed my organs recently I learned how to draft a trousers pattern according to my own measurements and already from them I made jeans details which we will saw in this video stay until the end to see all the hacks for sewing the perfect jeans I start sewing the perfect jeans as always with the assembly of a personal jeans pattern. I made the pattern according to my measurements and parameters. The pattern already has my rounded belly and flat butt. You can also get a personal jeans pattern with the features of your figure right to sign nomad on Instagram direct. My fabric is 55 inches wide and it's so nice to work with a white fabric. I ordered an extra fabric and I saw the Prada bag from this piece but about it in another video and in general I really like my tendency when I saw one thing and I make from the leftovers something else. And the first thing I will try to do is to embroider the small denim piece. Two threads will be threaded into one needle, because here I have an interesting embroidery on my back pockets. At one of the halves of the front we need to cut off the flight shield along this line. We bend it like that, on which of the halves of the front you will do it anyway. There is a rule for men's trousers for women, I don't care. This side will not affect in any way for sewing on a zipper. And on the second there is such a wide flight shield. I also cut two inside pockets. Right here we will sew a piece of jeans so that later we can attach our front like this. And by the way, when you cut out the inside pockets, mark where you will sew this little thing because they seem to be very similar, but this line will be individual for each person. It's made according to the proportions of your hips. They are rounded or flat. Pocket with the fold. Well, let's sew it like this. Just then we will bend it and here we will sew it. I sorted these edges because we want to get them later and these edges. When we close the pocket and sew it on our front half, then together with the pocket we will process it on the serger here. You see, I didn't finish it here. You will complain that my threads are not same color on the serger, but it's perfectly clear where and what I saw on the serger. You need to stitch all three sides at once. I need to cut off the entrance to the pocket on the pattern and on the fabric. The same could be done before, but I was afraid to make mistake. I interfaced the pockets first to the very edge and then remembered that all seam allowance was 3 8 inches. Here to interface on the edge. I think how not to confuse which side to sew. Uh, if we start sewing like this, then turn inside out. Can we close the pocket? Like yes. We saw on the side where this small piece of jeans is not visible. We cut a rounded seam so that we can turn the pocket inside out. We begin to make the first line, the line like this carefully. I'm worried because it will be more difficult to unseam it. When I need to connect two parts, I pull out the second upper thread, which is inconvenient. In general, it's great if you have two machines at home, one for double threads, another for a single thread. I saw the first line along the edge here and the second line along the edge of the foot. Uneven stitching. It has its own charm. Do you see charm in uneven stitching? If yes, write in the comments. We fold the pocket and attach the pocket to the trousers. Sew on the sides. But first, we saw the bottom of the inside of the pocket. I only realized this near the sewing machine. I don't have these things here. I will need to fasten with stitching, sew square and crossing it. After stitching, I will sew on a serger. Let's move on the back part. We attach the yoke to the trouser, the side where there is an angle of 90 degrees, because this corner should come out. I show why. Because of the seam allowance, after you saw these two parts and turn, the corner will stick out a little.
In general, here you need to make a closed seam. You need to cut off one part here and bend the second two times. But I don't want to mock a sewing machine with such a thickness. So I'll cut off one part and bend it only one time. I won't have it like in a factory. So what? I want to do this, by the way. The same seam is also done on the butt. Figure out what thickness is here when connecting the parts. Make double row with double thread. Before working with back pockets, I will pull this edge a little and a little here. Also, this edge is equal on the back and front halves, but if you want them to sit well on the butt, we still need to do this. Well, that's enough. I have two printed pockets. I will now embroider right on these pieces of paper on a sewing machine. One pocket has a band seam allowance, the other doesn't. I embroidered pocket, spent two hours on it, but it's worth it. And now I'm starting to connect them with trousers. I hand stitched the pockets and now I'm starting to sew. I'm doing fastens here, here, I think maybe here. This is how we sew with a double thread and in two rows, as here, for example. It was asymmetric because I didn't mirror the drawing. Perfectionist hell. I take the front halves and go to sew on the zipper. We take a half with the short ply. Remember, we cut it off. We will sew the zipper to this side. Because I have a new zipper, here you can find such lines along which you need to sew. I will sew along the middle line. I changed the sewing foot because it's impossible to sew with the main foot due to the fact that their zipper teeth are very wide. This is a special foot for zippers. Now we turn it off and steam it. Steamed it. Cover the fly on top and sew after the stitch from the surgeon. Steam again. On the second front half, where we have a large fly, iron the fly inside. We sew both front halves of the trousers right to the right side, as in the picture there is a yellow dashed line. Close the zipper and made hand stitch. I did it! Turn it over, sew the zipper to the fly on the second side, where made hand stitch. I draw a template that I will sew on the right side. You can ask for the template for free in the Sewing Nomad Instagram Direct. We bend the fly in the other direction and pin it. Like this. With the bent fly we sew to here, then we pull out the thread, remove the pins from the fly and sew it like this. Here, very carefully, there are metal zipper teeth. You will need to sew by hand. Scroll the wheel and make sure that the needle doesn't push into the iron teeth. I fastened here. Now I put the fly back, close the zipper and sew. Everything works fine. We connect back halves with each other and pin back seam.
I'm going to make a sewing line with the double thread here, like this. The pockets are just great. I got such a beautiful line. We attached the front to the back. I will now pin these four seams. Now I'll connect and show you. Now connect four of these seams. The most important thing is that the seam between the legs should connect. I inserted a needle in both seams so everything should come together. I was so afraid that they wouldn't fit on me. They fit perfectly. There is a mistake. You see, I added only one half inch. I need to add more. I will now solve this moment. Uh, mark two inches. This is a length for the fly and the seam allowance. Then fold it in half to the mark and mark the middle. I will now attach it to the back seam and distribute the entire length. And now we saw everything. Listen, how many pants I've been sewing, I realized only one thing. As soon as the belt was sewn on, don't fasten it here. Close the zipper and check these two lines. Do the same or not? Because I had two of six pants with such a mistake. Then I had to read them apart because I didn't check. Here is a life hack for you. Check it after stitching. I steamed the seam first like this and then like this because I want everything to be very beautiful here like after the factory where I used very powerful steam generators I think it will be fine now I need to bend like this exactly until the middle we saw here cut off both ends turn it corners out Now we fold and sew a belt with our hands. I sew in a circle, we will have our beautiful green stitch. I will sew with a double thread, so I always have a bobbin ready. Here is a second one, and when I need to sew the details, I just remove the top thread. For some reason there is a pass here, okay, now I'll finish it. And now I will sew on a button. First I'll make a loop, here is a special foot, the buttonhole. Now I'll punch the loop first and then I'll carefully sew on the button. Where is the button? Uh, inside the foot. I took a few buttons because the leg of the buttons often breaks. I didn't show you how I made this loop because it's just awful. I probably spent an hour on it. The first time I saw it I got into iron teeth and broke the needle. Then I decided to sew a little higher. I didn't like it higher. I ripped it open here, removed this iron teeth and made a loop in the middle. I installed the button, fastened the zipper, put the button here, felt the end where I needed to insert it. I began to slowly push through. I didn't cut anything before. I slowly started to twist the leg, then connected the button with the leg and at the end I taped a little with a hammer. It remains only to hem the bottom. I folded the bottom with an iron, inserted such a thing because I have color thread and I need the line to be even here. I didn't even sew on the belt loops because they fit perfectly.